Tommy, in front of the TNT cameras this weekend, we can always provide entertainment. What are your thoughts ahead of this one? Well, we're looking forward to it. Obviously, we had a blip on Tuesday night. Um, abruptly halted in with tracks by a really impressive AFC file side, I thought. Um, so we've got to get back on a horse. It's something that's happened to us before this season. And every time we've we've had a, you know, a punch in the nose, like, is, to, for want of a better expression, we've managed to, to get up and plough on and, and have positive results and have a positive performance again. And there's nothing different. Our defence has chopped and changed a little bit here and there throughout the season, but we'll be missing Kean, who's been a mainstay this season. How will that affect us? Well, it will. He's a big, been a big part. You know, a lot of people only see deficiencies in certain players, um, but we as a staff like to look at the whole picture. And I think whilst, you know, he feel uh, culpable to some degree because he, he left the pitch as early as he did on Saturday, on Tuesday night, but he, there's been a lot of positives about Kean this season and, and more in defence than people will give him credit for, to be honest. And it's something that sort of boils up in my back of my head a little bit, that people only want to pick on the negatives of individuals rather than looking on the the positives of the collective and that's we're all about the collective intention from the manager right through the staff through every every one of our players there's no one player thought of any more highly or low than the next and we just pick a team every week that we feel the circumstances that we know aren't known to everybody else but we pick teams to win games and if we don't win we try not to lose that'll be the same on saturday Obviously, on going down to 10 men and then having, obviously, Kobe pick up a bit of a knock and being stuck up front, we had to chop and change a little bit, didn't we? And we saw a lot of players stuck in positions they wouldn't normally be playing. But I think that's a good testament to those players, isn't it? That, all right, we didn't get the result we wanted, but they all mucked in. They didn't stop giving their all, did they, in positions they might not want to play in? Yeah, I mean, look, part of our game plan on Tuesday night involved three players. And them three players were all off the pitch by off time. Now, some will say some deservedly and some not. I don't care. At the end of the day, them players know what we want. They know how to deliver it. And nine times out of ten, when they've been in the team, the results have been more positive than negative. So from that point of view, you know, my, my, my attitude don't change. My, I won't take a backward step in my thinking um, or my planning. And I won't, I won't listen to noise outside this room. So we all have a say in here. And ultimately, we all move forward together, picking a positive always positive team in terms of trying to win the game from the off and if we can't win it we'll not try we we'll try not to lose it so like I said the next game is always the most important and it's always the toughest because it is the next game the cards that we have to to deal this this weekend will be different from the ones on Tuesday and I'll guarantee you they'll be different again on Tuesday against Barnet and then South End on Saturday so people have got to understand that you know um, these lads aren't machines they're all they're all it's like some of them, to give you a good analogy, you know, some of their petrol tanks are really full and are flying and they're doing really well and don't need looking after too much. But others aren't. Others have got little bits of engine, petrol in the tank because their engines haven't been working a lot. And that's, that's the best way I can describe it. And if I just keep playing or driving a car with no petrol in, what's going to happen with it? And that's what's happened. Filed obviously were low in the table, but they were in incredible form. I think that's testament to the division this year, isn't it? It's yeah. incredibly challenging. But you look at our position in the league, and and we've done well so far this season. And there's no reason why we can't go into every game thinking we can beat every team, right? Yeah, well, listen, on a one-off basis, we, we can beat every team. That's you know we've proven that because of who who we've played so far this season, not just in our division, but in the cup competitions as well. Um, but listen, there's no negativity in here. We're really positive. We've had a really good uh, morning's training. Thursday morning, the lads have come back bright and breezy. Like I said, there's, we picked up one or two knocks that you, you, you probably always do when you, you're running with 10 men for over an hour. So whoever's available to us, like I said, we'll pick the best 11 we can and uh, onwards to the next game. There are a few knocks in the squad, isn't there? I know you obviously don't want to name names and talk about those and give too many details, but obviously Josh Barrett went down. We, Kobe, we talked about the knock there. Mm. Do we have any inclination of whether they'll be back? And obviously Tyler Frost as well, he was, he was missing. Yeah, well, I mean, Taylor was ill. He was poorly. He pulled himself out of the squad in the afternoon of the game. Um, Josh came off as a precaution. I don't think he'll be out too long. Um, but again, that's sometimes people look at that and will criticise either me or him for playing, which is a weird thing to do. But ultimately, he's made the right decision because had he stayed on the pitch, he, he probably would have worsened the situation for himself and affected. But up until he went off the pitch, we were actually right in the game and could have been 2 0 up. But that's forgotten because of the scoreline. It's not forgotten by us because we, we analyse every bit of the game um, 
and knew we were right in it at that stage. By then, Filer had one or two shots from 25, 30 yards, and we'd been in on their goal, and on other occasions could easily have been 2 0 to the good. So, you know, our game plan went, as it were, um, belly up, fairly, up, fairly on in the game, and, and, and then obviously the double blow a bit, getting Kean sent off meant we were running with a, you know, we, like if you were a duck, it's one foot, you swim around in circles, aren't you? So that's, that's how we were. But, you know, that's in the back of the mind, isn't it? And all positive ahead of this weekend. Absolutely. Like I said, we move on. We have a really quick debrief after the game. And very rarely do we do more than two or three minutes. Um, the staff get to work straight away on the next opponent, which we do. We don't have days off in that respect. We're straight at it. So the lads will come in like they did this morning with fresh ideas from us because of the opposition we're playing. But ultimately, you know, we, we've had a real tough run of games mm. over these last four or five weeks. We've played... Nearly every team we've, we've played against, other than Fylde, have been in the top seven. But Fylde, I think they've won five out of the last mm. six games now. So, you know, they, they were the reasons for points at the time that they, they started, you know, digging in. You just have to look and think, well, why haven't they been doing that all season? So.